going, everybody? This is John Fronick from JF Hedge Trimming, located here in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Today is January 5th, 2017, a brand new year. And wouldn't you know it, we actually got a white Christmas, a white New Year's, and a lot of snow um, still to come. So, but anyways, you can see this is uh, where we're at lots of snow and with hedges we know that lots of snow does not like um, we know that snow and hedges do not really go well together because depending on the type of variety of the hedge uh, most common are the pyramidalis and the emeralds or s'more eggs uh, they can be susceptible to falling apart if you get a lot of snow um, I have a prized emerald hedge here. I'll just kind of show you, but um, we've had a little bit of snow on it, and what happens is they get to fall apart just a little bit. Now you can kind of see here what snow can do. Now I was not, I was kind of experimenting this year to see, well, you know, I maintain my hedge every year, and what would happen if I just did not touch it uh, and bat the snow off with a hockey stick or you know, a wooden pallet or something just to uh, prevent the hedge from falling apart. But uh, this is what happens here, right? You get these guys and they're all leaning over. We'll check the back side of this hedge here, get some snow. And again, you can kind of see, even from way over there, that there's going to be a little bit of uh, hedge repair to do. So this is what we're going to be focusing on in 2017. Uh, we assume that it's going to be a lot to um, repair. Now, when it comes to repairing, you want to make sure that you do not cut these ones off. They'll have to get tied in before you even start to trim them. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of holes um, in your hedge. And, well, pretty much these things grow very slowly. So any kind of cut you do, you're going to have a holy hedge. But um, this is just to kind of introduce... Oh, lots of snow falling off that guy <laughs> and it's a little bit cold right now too you can see my lips are a little bit chapped but hey you know what every winter is different and this time it's cold so yeah maybe it didn't help but I went snowboarding earlier too so but anyways here we go um, I took some before pictures uh, when we did have the big snowfall and actually this looks a lot better than what it did before um, you can kind of see uh, when I do post it what it looked like and uh, the noble person would uh, shake off all the snow but with me and my experiment I decided I will see the results when lot of snow gets on just to kind of give you a feel um, but do actually just check out my website I got a lot of before and afters of the repairs that we do we can make your hedge look awesome and uh, if you have any questions just um, yeah just send me an email uh, comment on the YouTube um, link. This is only my third video, so I'm still kind of trying to get better at it. Other than that, you know, I'll give you a, a look at what the hedge looks like. You can see the nice mountains in the back. A couple of places being built there, so uh, I'm not going to enjoy that view for much longer. Anyways, uh, yeah, once again, John Fronick at JF Hedge Trimming. Uh, like the link. And uh, if you have any questions, just send me a mail. Thanks.